the person who invented hydraulic systems was truly a genius. A liquid can never be compressed, and engineers took advantage of this fact. They filled a pipe with liquid and placed pistons at both ends. As soon as pressure was applied to the first piston, it moved one inch down, and the piston on the other side moved one inch up with the same force. That means there was no loss of power at all. Later, instead of one pipe, four pipes were joined together. When pressure was applied to the master piston, it moved four inches down, and on the other side, the four pistons each moved one inch up, which meant the power was equally distributed among all. Even if the piston sizes were changed, some small, some large, the system still worked. The smaller pistons would travel longer distances, while the larger pistons would travel less, but with many times more force. This same principle is used today in car brakes. The master cylinder is connected to smaller cylinders so that when pressure is applied to the larger cylinder, the power gets evenly distributed into the smaller ones. And this is what we call the hydraulic brake.